Today, we are going to grow our own crystals. Hi guys, thanks for joining us again today. I'm Jessica with the Buena Vista Museum, and today I have my helper, Maddie. Hi. Here's a few ingredients that you'll be needing today. We're going to need a jar. We're going to need boiling water. Make sure that you ask a parent to help you boil the water. We're also going to be using borax, and you can find this in the laundry detergent uh, aisle. Um, you'll need scissors, something to stir with, pipe cleaners, a piece of string, and a skewer. If you don't have a skewer, you can always use um, a tongue depressor or a popsicle stick. First, we're going to start off with boiling our water. And while our water is boiling, I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and I'm going to make a rainbow. Madeline, what are you going to make? I'm going to try to make a ring. A ring? All right, let's get started. So I'm going to place mine in the rainbow form. And mine were a little too long, so I went ahead and used my scissors and cut the ends off to make them smaller to be able to fit into the jar better. So now that I have them in my rainbow form, I am going to hold them down and I'm going to use silver for my clouds. I'm going to wrap the silver around the very ends of the pipe cleaners to make my cloud. How are you doing over there, Maddie? That looks awesome. I can't wait to see what it looks like with crystals on it. Me too. Now I'm gonna take the other end of my rainbow and I'm gonna do the same thing. Then I'm gonna bend it right in the middle to form my rainbow. Now that we have the pipe cleaners in the shape that we want them, we're going to take our piece of string and we're going to loosely make a loop to make sure that your pipe cleaners get completely submerged in your solution. So I'm gonna tie it right about here. Now that we have a knot, we're going to set that aside and we're going to take our borax and we're going to pour it in our jar. This mixture calls for three tablespoons of borax per one cup of boiling water. Now that we have our borax in here, we're going to pour in three cups of boiling water. Then we're going to stir it. We're going to make sure 
that all the powder is dissolved. And it might look a little cloudy, and that's okay. Now that we have our mixture all mixed up, we're going to take our skewer and we're gonna put it right through the hole of our string that we made. And then we're gonna gently lower our pipe cleaners into the mixture. We're gonna make sure that it gets completely submerged and we're gonna set the skewer on top and we're gonna leave it for 24 hours. Shh, our crystals are growing. Now that it's been 24 hours, let's check and see how our crystals are doing. Wow, this one has sat for just 24 hours. Look at all the different sizes of crystals on there. We have big ones, we have little ones. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. How do crystals form, Maddie? Crystal growing is a neat chemical project that is quickly set up involving liquids, solids, and soluble solutions. Because there are still solid particles within the liquid mixture, if left untouched, the particles will settle to form crystals. Water is made up of molecules. When you boil the water, the molecules move away from one another. When you freeze water, they move closer to one another. Boiling hot water allows for more borax powder to dissolve to create the desired saturated solution. So how do you make a saturated solution? That's a good question, Maddie. You're making a saturated solution with more powder than the liquid can hold. The hotter the liquid, the more saturated the solution can become. This is because the molecules in the water move farther apart, allowing more of the powder to be dissolved. If the water is colder, the molecules in it will be closer together. As the solution cools down, there is all of the sudden going to be more particles in the water as the molecules move back together. Some of these particles will start to fall out of the suspended state they were once in, and the particles will start to settle on the pipe cleaners as well as the container and form crystals. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's cool. Once a tiny seed crystal is started, more of the falling materials bound with it to form bigger crystals. Crystals are solid with flat sides and symmetrical shape and will always be that way unless impurities get in the way. They are made up of molecules and have a perfectly arranged and repeating pattern. Some may be bigger and some may be smaller. Thank you for growing crystals with us today. Please like and subscribe.